Well, hello, Tracy. How, uh, how's married life? Similar to a plague. <laughs> Did you find the boathouse comfortable? Yes, Daddy, thank you. You know, I can't believe what got into Alice to let you two in the house. You see, the idea of coffee and the morning papers with Anthony Zaccaro is almost more than this old heart can bear. Well, you better get used to it, because we're taking over the East Wing. Hey. <laughs> Michael, hello. Uh, to, to what do we owe this pleasure? I'm um, just here to clear out Abby's desk. Well, I'm, I'm very sorry about Abby. I should have offered my, my condolences sooner, but things have been a little bit complicated between us since you left ELQ. We know how much she meant to you. She was really grateful for the chance you gave her. Was... I was very fond of her. She was an excellent employee and, and a charming addition to our team. I'm sorry I sent her to Chicago. Look, I'm the one who pushed you to do it. The accident wasn't your fault. Michael, I know we discussed giving you a deal to work on, but the deal never materialized. We couldn't make a deal. Okay, well, the deal can still be saved. How? Oh. Well, the company needs help in two of its divisions. I can... Write something up if you'd like. Whoa, <laughs> we'd like that very much. Okay, well, I'll, I'll get back to you in a couple of days. Oh, um, have you heard of Polar Solar? No, can't say that I have, huh? Well, it was down three when it closed yesterday. It's undervalued, it might be a smart buy. You've been researching stock? Uh, I've been reading up a little, yeah. Just thought I'd pass it along. Hey, I'm heading out. Did you find everything you need, son? Uh, yeah. I haven't really carried much in her desk, just a few supplies. And, uh, this. Michael, I am sorry. Thank you. I want you back here at ELQ. You don't need me here. On the contrary, you made a very definite contribution during the brief time that you were with us, and, and I would like to have you back here at the company in whatever capacity you choose. I'll think about it. Well, I guess that was less than enthusiastic. Well, he didn't say no. Daddy, that boy has never shown the slightest interest in the family business. Why do you keep beating your head against a brick wall? He has a very keen sense of finance. Could it be you're biased? My great-grandson has a sharp, intelligent mind, and you mark my word, lady, if he accepts my offer, I will have made a very shrewd business decision for this company. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> 